Whippersnappers, this is Tortimer the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon uh, X. Pokemon X, yikes. <laughs> it's been so long since we've had an episode in this series that I almost forgot about what, what I was doing. Um, for those of you guys who are still watching this, uh, thank you. We're getting very close to the end, and I apologize sincerely for the delay in episodes here. It's been uh, too long. <laughs> Probably like two months or something since the last episode of this. I haven't, I haven't checked, but... Uh, way too long. I didn't intend for the delay to be that long, um, but if you watch some of my other series or follow me on Twitter, you may uh, may have realized that um, it's part of the delay is due to the fact that I thought I lost my 3DS there for for about a week, uh, and um, but I found it and we are good to go. Uh, so we are going to jump in here. We stopped last time right before the the gym here, the eighth and final gym. Um, so it's kind of interesting in here. Never I have. Still doing this blind, believe it or not, so um, haven't touched the game really since uh, I recorded the last episode, which was uh, was quite a while ago. So, um, what's the dice, Chunk of Ice? That was my favorite future champ. As you can see, this is Snowbell City Gym, is the place if you love to be... As you see, this Snowbell City Gym is the place to be if you love ice types. Alright, but if you've already seen seven badges from gym leaders all across Canada, right? I'm sure you don't need any hints from a guy like me anymore, am I right? Right? One more to go, eh? Alright. Uh, so we are good to go, I, I believe. Let's see what kind of shenanigans goes on here in this gym. Um, but yeah, so eighth and final badge here. Um, they call me the king of, queen of the ice rink. Um, so yeah. We get this and then I feel like we wrapped up the plot stuff a couple episodes ago when we caught Xerneas and everything. So. Uh, I'm guessing after this we've just got the uh, Elite Four and Champion and stuff. I, I'm not entirely certain, but uh, that would be my guess. Um, let's see here. I can't remember if Dark... No, Dark's going to resist Ghost. That was dumb. Um, so let's see if that's going to do anything. Yeah, not really. Okay. Let's use a special defense spell, though. That's good. Let's try a Surf. Get the Stab Snatch. Waits for target to make a move. Okay. Not really sure what that's doing exactly, but Sneasel's dead, so not too worried about it. Alrighty. Um, got Zoidberg up front because he's still pretty low level, um, and I need, a, I need a decent water type, so... Uh, nope, I'm going to keep Zoidberg in. Um, and now I'm going to switch. Uh, let's see, we've got water ice type. Um, let's go with Gladriel. Come on, girl. There she is. I believe that we've got Thunderbolt on her here, so let's take a quick look. Oop. Throwing up spikes, getting strategic on us. Alrighty. Uh, yes, we do have Thunderbolt, so we'll throw that up. Take Cloister down. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, glad we all grew to 2000 something or another. Level 62, awesome. So I grew to level 53, even better. I'm trying to learn muddy water. Uh, 90, pretty sure surface 90. Yeah. Nope, we pass on that. Forget. Er, no, gosh darn it. I want to forget muddy water. I hate this. This is the worst way that they could have set this up in this game. Okay. Uh, Rest your team game experience. That's fantastic. Alright, so we beat her. $11,000 for winning. Very awesome. Okay. So. Okay. Wow. Um, Alright. Not sure that did exactly what. Well, maybe. I don't, I'm not honestly sure what that did. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, what I do want to do, and I forgot to do this before I started, um, I want to throw a little bit at the bottom. I want to give the lucky egg to Zoidberg. Yes, I want to switch the two. And I want to give the amulet coin to... Gladriel's not holding anything, we'll give it to her. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's take on this guy. Freeze right there! Alrighty, challenged by Ace Trainer Victor. 
Delaware. Oh, nice, Delaware. That's fun. Um, but yeah, so pretty excited. Um, I'm excited to get my eighth gym badge, become a, and, and shortly thereafter become a master of the Kalos region. Um, don't know what types are represented in the Elite Four at all still, uh, so I'm pretty excited to see that coming up in a couple episodes. Uh, and maybe next episode. I guess I really, I, I might need to break my blind streak unless it gives me some serious direction uh, at the end here. Um, and uh, figure out exactly where we're supposed to be going. Oh, I love Mammal Swine. Bye, Mammal Swine. Such a cool Pokemon. Um, all right, great. Victor went down. Um, I would really love it if they would uh, if they would add Mammal Swine to. Oh, I see what we're doing. Uh, they would add Mammal Swine. I started a series recently, uh, Pixelmon, which is a mod uh, modded version of. That's not right. A uh, modded version of Minecraft. Um, okay. Uh, what? I'm not really sure what exactly is happening here. Okay, so there's this. Okay, so we need to do this. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh, this is an interesting little puzzle here. Um, so I started a new, uh, a new uh, series, uh, Pixelmon, which is a modded version of Minecraft, which create turns Minecraft essentially into a um, a Pokemon MMO, which is awesome. Um, and so we've been playing that, and they've got Swinub and Piloswine in that game, um, but they don't have Mammoth Swine in there yet, so I mean, Palace Swine's not really good enough to train without uh, the potential for Mammoth Swine evolution, so I haven't gotten, I haven't trained them in there yet, but I would love to, because I've, I've used Mammoth Swine uh, a number of times before, and I would love to, um, I would love to get a chance to, to use it again in that series, as well, Zoidberg, hang in there, buddy, um, nice, that was good, actually. Okay, so rock is super effective against ice. Good to know. For some reason, I didn't think it was. Okay, um, here we go. We've got hyper potions. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked out that Pixelmon series yet, it's a lot of fun. I'm doing a, a collab. Uh, that's my first uh, collaboration series. Uh, ooh, did I use recover? Um, okay. Um, that's my first collab series I've done, and uh, the guy I'm doing it with is a lot of fun. Uh, very entertaining guy. Um, oh no, Zoidberg! Alright. Um, so yeah, definitely check that series out if you haven't already. Uh, I would I would strongly encourage you to do so. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun with that series and I'm looking forward to uh, to continuing that one. And uh, especially and this one as well. I, I kind of get burnt out on this one a little bit because um, honestly it's a pain to record. <laughs> Because I've got to get all this equipment. Uh, about to use Pile of Swine. Um, I'm going to switch. I'm going to put Bigwig out. Um, because I've got to I've got to use a lot of hardware for it. i got to set up my phone and my Game Boy. and <clears throat> I've got to have something to hold my Game Boy and something to hold my phone and, and all this. And so it's just, it's just kind of a pain. Um, let's see what Earthquake will do. Uh, so, you know, I kind of got burnt out on doing it, but, you know, it's been a while and I'm kind of excited to be back in it, which is, which is fun. Uh, I think we've only got a couple more episodes left here. Um, but I'm excited to, to get those couple episodes done and out and uh, share this experience with you all. I know there's a couple of you who, who were still watching it at least. Uh, I'm going to switch. No, we'll be all right. Um, you know, there at the end, because I had a couple of people commenting and things like that, but, um, you know, it didn't, uh, this series, you know, I was hoping with the new game coming out and everything that it might have taken off, but, uh, you know, I, th I feel like literally every person who does any form of Pokemon LP had a Pokemon X or Y series coming out at that point, so that was probably a, a naive, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. 
it's not, because i got to be able to get over to that other one. Okay. So we need one that will allow us to get on. Perfect. Um, so yeah, you know, that's that's kind of an interesting thing with, uh, you know, YouTube here is that uh, things you think are going to be huge uh, end up kind of flopping. Um, and, and things that you just kind of do for the heck of it, like uh, when I started those Pokemon uh, Showdown competitive battles, um, I just kind of did that because uh, my brother said, hey, I want to, he sent me a random text one day and said, hey, I want to battle you in Little Cup. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that means. And so I you know, did some research and I threw up a video and man, I tell you what, those are some of my best videos on my channel and I put those up all the time and they're quick and easy and you know, that's uh, that's the beauty of this whole beast, I guess. You know, some of these things are trial and error. Um, but yeah, I've got you know a lot of cool things in the future too. Uh, so, but yeah, pretty excited about this uh, seeing where this game ends up. Uh, there's a couple of games like I, I started playing Black and White Two as well, and I never got through that game. Uh, a couple of my friends, uh, the Espresso Cat and uh, Aaron, are. Um, I'm both playing through uh, Black and White 2 right now, and uh, now let's see here. Um, let me do this. Oh, you know what? No, I needed to. I needed to press that yellow button because I need to be able to get between both of these from the yellow side. So let's rotate this here. Is that going to give me a path for both? Yes, it is. Okay, beautiful. So now we can do this. I need to be able to get... Oh, well, I guess that path wasn't going to work anyway. Um, that's not going to work. That might. Let's take a quick look. Yep, I might. Okay, perfect. Um, let me check real quick, because uh, I'd like Zoidberg to get some experience here. Um, we do have a revive. Perfect. Uh, if you guys will remember, I'm sure you do, um, that uh, this is not a Nuzlocke series, so we can use revives, which is awesome. Um, although I am getting pretty excited about uh, Nuzlocking this uh, the next time I play through it. So. Um, yeah, but I, I chose not to do a Nuzlocke on this because I wanted to just kind of experience the game, but, um, you know, I, I, I'm really looking forward to I've watched other people do Nuzlocke's of it and stuff, and I'm really looking forward to doing that at some point. But, uh, in the here and now, uh, let's, let's take this on. We've got the final gym guy here. I don't know what his name is, but he is a, he's an interesting looking fella, huh? Yikes. Um... He looks kind of trailer trashy, to be honest with you. He's got his wife beater on and his weird mustache. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, that could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy's goofy looking. Wolfric. Kind of a fun name, Wolfric. Sent on a bomb of snow. Ooh, is this thing gonna mega evolve? That would be interesting. Um, what I really need to do is get Charmander or Charmander. Uh, Smile out here, Charizard. Okay, so we got snow warning. Started to hail. Grass ice. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything to grass ice. So uh, let's grab. Uh, yeah, Smog's gonna be my best bet. Alright. Not going to Mega Bowl because I'm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter either way. I'm either Fire Flying or I'm Fire Dragon. Um, and Flying and Dragon are both weak to ice, so. Uh, I guess I probably should Mega Ball then, huh? Um, because I can at least get the stat boost. Um, cause, yeah, because Charizard gets a pretty decent stat boost for Mega Balling, so we'll do that since the type typing doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, fire should offset that uh, weakness either way. Oh, Mega Charizard's beautiful. Look at him. Oh, man. Alright, so we get our flamethrower off. This should 
yeah, just destroy Obama Snow. Alrighty, down she blows, goes Timber, or something. Alright, so you better go to level 54. Good for him, good for him. Alright, Smog's buffeted by the hail, that's, that's fine. About to send in Cairo. Cairo, gonna, I'm gonna actually, I want, I want Zoidberg to try this out. He's got the rock move. Um, maybe I'll throw up a sword stance first and see what'll happen. Um, he had a little bit of trouble with that other one earlier, but let's just see. We gotta confuse Ray. Ah, strats. Uh, fight through it, Zoidberg. Come on, buddy. No, nope, you're gonna hit yourself. That's disappointing. Oh, no, you didn't. Awesome. Okay, beautiful. So we get the Swords Dance up. That's probably not going to be great uh, if we hit ourselves in confusion, but that's all right. Uh, so let's go for the Smack Down here. Smack Down! All right, Ice Beam's not going to do anything at all, hopefully. Okay, come on, Zoidberg. You got it, buddy. Nah. Ouch! Ooh, that could potentially have put us in a bad place. Um, all right, going to try the Smack Down one more time. Uh, this Ice Beam shouldn't kill us. Okay, good. Snapped out of confusion. Beautiful. Get him, Zoidberg. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alrighty, perfect. Good boy, Zoidberg. Um, Hail Stumped. So, Avalug. Avalug. Oh, that's, uh, the Frosty. We've got one of those. Um, what's the Bilbo at it? I know the... Grass part of him is going to be weak. Well, he, he's going to be weak to ice, but I think if we can get a decent hit off on this with power up punch or something, or hammer arm or whatever one we've got. Yeah, hammer arm. Uh, let's give a good hammer arm here. We should be able to break up this iceberg. Ooh, close, close. Speed fell, used curse. Okay, so they're killing their own speed. Yeah, we've got one of these guys. That's fun. Okay, um. Choo, choo, choo. Hammer arm. There we go. Avalug is down. Didn't this guy only have three Pokemon? Is that it? Crew 65. Beautiful. Guess your team gain experience. Defeater Little Wolfric. Yeah. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed through me through and through. Thermal Seed. Dude, one of your trainers gave me more money. Although, I guess I used Amulet Coin on her. Should have brought. Whoops. Impressive! Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained your Pokemon well. There we go. What is, let me guess. It's the Ice Badge? <laughs> iceberg Badge. Okay, well. A little bit better. What you have right there is called the Iceberg Badge. As long as you have that, any and all of your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this too. See the Ice Beam TM. Nice. We will use that for sure. Um, you know what this is? It's Ice Beam. This move is 100% accuracy. Okay, that's great. Uh, being ready can make you tough, but it also makes you ready for you yeah, being flexible. You know what I mean? Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environment when changing important inside. Uh, not only that, um, I'm too stubborn for something or other. Alright, so we get a straight bridge right on out of here, which is great. Ooh, and we get to do the slide there. All right, great. So we got everything we need. Expecting a call here, maybe? Nope, someone's coming out though. Say so somebody's got to know what to do. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're after the Pokemon League. Yeah, I would guess so. You know what? You have all the gym badges now, so there's really only one left thing to do. It's time to head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust your Pokemon, and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Okay. Um, well, my guess would be, if there was something else to do, uh, somebody would have called and told us about it. Um, so, I'm thinking, really, all there is left to do is Victory Road and the Pokemon League and Champion and all that jazz. So, um, awesome. We will, um, let's see, we're at about 20 minutes now, which is perfect. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the vi episode, leave me a like. Next time, we will be back, and we will, um, we will be taking on the Victory Road, uh, possibly. 
and uh, and then the Elite Four. Uh, and I think they've heard that there's some Endgame stuff, so if you guys uh, want to see that, let me know. Um, you may have seen it on other channels and stuff and don't really care, um, but let me know. I'm going to play through it anyway, I guess, so if you guys want to see it, um, I will bring you guys along for the ride. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see uh, some of the Endgame stuff. Um, if you don't know what that is yet because you you're, haven't watched other series or, or whatever, um, that's fine. We'll figure it out together, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been Tournament of the Grey, and you guys have been great. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.